Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and I'm here on the Geek Tech Industries server in Alpha 7. Um, I forget what episode this is, I think it's like 21, 22, maybe, 23. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so... <laughs> We're actually here on Oskatoon. What I wanted to do today is finish off the solo missions. You can see down there, there's the platform with the CV. And I think we're gonna need to deal with that first to do our mission. So, I think we need to go smash the CV. Let's. Let's go smash the CV. So there's another civilian POI right down there. Um, that's the only other shooty POI I can see. So I think we should be good. So I've got enough. I've got tons of ammo. I've got, whoa, let's not leave the atmosphere here. Okay, so there we go. It's, I think I just activated it. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me, as soon as I started recording, I got a frog in my throat. I don't know what is up with that. Okay, so, the, from what I remember, yeah, 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 shuttle hub. From what I remember, the, I remember being somewhere like right in the, oh, let's, take care of that. Uh, oh, did I not take care of it? Really? Okay. There. So, I think it was like right there. Right in between those. <laughs> there's, there's lots of stuff exploding. <clears throat> Not as coarse so far, but. Come on. Let's get back here a bit. Come on. Stop moving, it would make it a lot easier. <clears throat> Come on. See if I can see it. Ah, I don't see it. Thrusters down there, and I guess 
Oh, wait, is that? No, that's just a van. Come on, where is the core on this thing? I forget. take out its generators. I don't really care. I don't care about multi-dueling right now. I'm not about looting it. I'm just about stopping it. <coughs> can sure hear stuff blowing up. too much for where the core might be instead of paying attention to where I'm flying. Did I shoot right through it? Is that what's happening now? Did I blow a hole right through it? Okay, so where are you, core? Where the hell is the core?
probably loot boxes all over littering the ground right now. Just, just don't see it. Okay, so is it up there? forever I can't remember well it's right up against the barrier that's kind of trippy I don't think I've ever forced it up against a barrier before it's very interesting is it going through it's wait no hey whoa 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 buddy uh, I can't even, oh, you suck. Oh, is he going to come back out? <clears throat> yeah, he's going to come back out. Good. <laughs> So, the AI is not affected by the barrier. Interesting. God, I've unloaded a crap ton of missiles on him now. I don't know where the core is. going right here. Stop running away. Come back. Still shoot him on the other side of the barrier, okay. Get out of there. This is crazy. Is this episode going to be me fumbling with this thing? Like, really? Okay. <laughs> okay, get out of there. Come on.
Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was over there. Okay. So, oh yeah, and that popped a score because it's letter, it's white. Okay. Okay, so good to know. It's about a two-thirds of the way back. Right there, the, okay, so, yeah, okay. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to even bother with the loot at this point because I want to find the racetrack. But what I can do, just to prevent this thing from spawning really quickly, or I have no idea, to tell you the truth, I have no idea how long it's actually going to take to respawn that. So to slow that process down <clears throat> by 12 hours, let's kill its base. So we'll just do some Gatlings here. Drill in. smash onto a rock. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna leave a dent for sure. This is a PvP planet. Okay, so let's... I mean, I can't resist some easy loot here. I, I really can't. So let's just do this really quick. I know you guys have seen me do this multiple times now. It's just... I, sorry, I, I can't not do this. It's just... It's such easy loot. I have to do this. <clears throat> okay. So, in these two containers here, you've probably seen me do it before. We're going to just... Well, it's disassembled. It doesn't matter. And there we go. And we'll do... Pop that, and then loot it. And okay... And okay. CV repair. Hmm. Meh. It's all meh. But we'll just put it in here for now. Okay. vegetables for now, why not? Uh, and this one over here. Come on, last time I looted this, it was empty. Well, that's better. Advanced Constructor, Plasma Turret, uh, T1, Artillery Turret, that's nice. A base one, too. Those are... Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. And... Oh, wow. Three T2 pulse rifles. A regular pulse rifle. A T2 sniper. A heavy... Wow, that's some... Pulse rifleage. Three T2 pulse rifles. 
and a regular pulse rifle. Wow, I've never looted that many pulse rifles in one shot at my life. In my life, that's crazy. <clears throat> okay, so that's pretty much the only thing that I'm even interested in in this thing. So let's find the. Let's find. I don't know where anything is. I used to have it marked. Space race mission. There it is. Hey, it automatically marks it. Wow, let's go there. Woohoo! We don't have to fly, fly around and find it. And 6.9, so let's face the opposite direction. So we're going to be going slightly this way. Now the reason I'm doing this is because it's showing me more than four more than four and a half kilometers, which means that it's not taking into account that there's a the um, the seam, so to speak. <clears throat> because this is so right here. Here's the the seam. Admin Elemental SP, there we go. Oh, discovering a restroom, yeah, yeah, that's all fine and dandy. And there it is, this huge thing. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure if I just fly through it. Saskosium right there. So, that was the shuttle hub. That was the advanced outpost. Where did I... Oh, did I... It didn't actually mark the the platform on my map. Are you kidding me? It did not do that. Oh. Okay, so it was kind of in that direction. Shuttle hub? Yeah, so it's, it's in around there. So it's close to the shuttle hub. So basically, I'm just looking because I want to actually come here and build a base. But I, I don't want the CV constantly getting knocked out by it. And so maybe I'll do it on the opposite side. So it's going to be close to TS Oscatoon. Usually the CV patrols close enough to there, though. Well, the other side would be way down over here somewhere, right? Yeah. So south of the advanced outpost. <clears throat> Maybe somewhere down on a peninsula here or this island or something or an island down here. Maybe. If that's not too close to the boundary. Well, I guess we're just gonna... <clears throat> we're just gonna fly in. Although, what I should do, because if I have to jump out, oh, there's, wait. So that's, oh, I gotta jump into it. So flying through ain't gonna do anything, is it? No. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess we'll land. And there's, oh, there's an elevator. So this, this is actually a base of some sort. Huh. Can I land here then? I should be able to, right? Yeah. What is all that down there? Stairs? Down to the bottom. Oh, okay. 
And then that leads to an elevator of some sort. I see. Well, let's go down and check it out. Oops, as I just smash down. Uh, no drones in the area. I took out the patrol vessel, so we've got we've got a few hours at least. Okay, <clears throat> unless a wandering drone comes by, we should be okay. Now, what I want to do is let's go into my. I didn't leave anything in there. Okay, let's empty empty stuff here so that, that, that. so if this is a race I'm not gonna need most of the stuff um, what do I need all that crap on me for don't need that <coughs> Got lots of food energy O2 so now what I want to do is I'm just going to take a bunch of ammo out of this thing so yeah I'll take uh don't really know if I'll be needing missiles for a race, right? I don't know. Well, let's grab... We'll grab 2,500 rounds. I don't want to leave this thing barren. Uh, let's just shut this thing off for now, I think. I mean, there's, it doesn't have anything in the fridge. Well, hopefully another player doesn't come by and destroy it while I'm doing this. Let's go. So we've got food, we've got ammo, we've got oxygen, we've got ammo for the... We've got the quest up and running. Let's do it. <clears throat> Okay, so, oh damn, do I need a, e oh, I've got my EVA on, I thought I had it on, okay, good. Uh, wow. Welcome to the, oh, please, uh, fly through checkpoint one, and I take, you will need it. Getting your ship prepared, there are no rules in wind time, seven minutes, good luck. Oh god, okay. Uh, let's do this one. And come on. Where's the cockpit? Is that the is that the rear? Ah, oh, here's the cockpit. <clears throat> okay, so uh that's the first checkpoint. And actually let's let's do this really quick. Okay. And then, and then what? Fly through two. Where's two? And then three. And four. Oh crap. Oh shit. Oh crap. Uh where where am I going here? I'm t I'm turned around. Here we go. And next one is this it? Yep. 
Checkpoint Pumpkin. Okay. And then... Tomato? So... These are a bunch of gardeners then? And then wheat? Wheat. And then... And then what? Where am I going? Wheat? Wheat? I'm not sure. Where am I going now? Checkpoint 10, okay. Oh crap! Let's uh... <laughs> oh really? Oh I only have a... I have one minigun on it? Come on, come on. And 13, this has got to be 13. Major amount of drones. Woo. Maybe, maybe the guided missiles would be a better call. So they don't seem to be actually even coming after me, so I'm not really sure what those drones are actually doing. And checkpoint 15, is this 15? I'm not sure. Reach the goal. Where's the goal? Uh, which one's the goal? Goal. Aha! Well done, pilot. Here, take the gun, money, and crystals. See you next time. Okay. What did it give me? Gave me 10,000 credits. Oh, uh, Pentaxid. He said something about a gun. I don't... S Do you guys see a gun? No, I think I just got money in Pentaxid. Okay, well, there we go. We, uh... We completed it the first time out. Not bad. Not bad. Um... Okay, so yeah, and since we'll close in 60 seconds, really, really, do I, should I like jump out then and like use this? Is this, is this what I'm supposed to do? And then, oh, and then, and then we go back out through here, right? Okay. And I'm back, and my ship's here, and it's foggy, but none worse than wear by the look of it. All right. Well, that was successful. So, we smashed the planetary vessel again. Uh, I have a feeling that we are going to be intimately uh, knowledgeable of each other with, over the next few weeks. So, 
that was pretty much it for this portion of the series, or pretty much that's it for season one of the Geek Tech server, Geek Tech Industry server uh, Alpha 7. I'm going to continue on with a new series with season two in Alpha 7, and the focus of season two is going to be doing, going out and doing the real hard, tough, insane crap. So that means building combat bases in the worst spots in the universe where there's nasty stuff that comes after you. Um, so like, you know, maybe I'll build a base here on Oscatoon. It, look at all the Zas and Arrestrium. Not bad. There's a planetary vessel that, that respawns every 12 hours or whatever it is. Uh, so that's fun. There's, uh, I believe it's like the abandoned mine, I think, on Oscatoon. So that's always cool. We could, we could check that out. Also, I know where there's some even worse end game content that we can experience that I've created myself that has some pretty crazy POIs that that we can probably with the gear that we've got now and uh, possibly with maybe Stickuses and Bally's and, and Sheenie's help we, we might be able to do like a, a group raid on you know maybe the uh, the palace or something like that, like something really crazy to, uh, to, to do for maybe the finale of next season. Uh, but next season's going to be about going around and smashing the real difficult POIs going in and trying to, um, there's a couple of planets where we, where there's multitude of POIs that we can just keep practicing on, like the uh, mine and the factory. Uh, we can, we can get those down so that we can like farm them and figure it all out for Alpha 7. The easiest ways, I've seen some really good stuff online from Haldemar and Lift Pizzas, they, they both did an excellent job in this year's Iron Man in Season 5 Iron Man. Go check them out. Uh, really cool. So there you have it, guys. I think, I know it's a little bit of a shortened episode, but I think this is going to be it for the finale. We finished off all the quest chain. <clears throat> Oops. Going to the PDA. So the only one we couldn't do is the custom tours, of course, because the Titan wreck has been <laughs> multi-tooled down to nothing uh, before I could get there and discover it. So eh, this will still be available when we when we wipe the starting sectors. I, I'll head back there and finish that off, and then they'll all be done. The next one are going to be team missions that I'll try and accomplish with extra members from my team. And we'll try and get some of this stuff done. Um, you can see some of it is kind of cool. So you get an advanced constructor as, as a reward. Um, and really, this sort of stuff is pretty, pretty basic. I could probably do it on my own. I could probably do it on my own. But, um, so yeah, I'll read through that and figure out how to do the these and the ones that I can solo, I'll solo. <clears throat> the ones I can't, obviously, I'll got help one with, and uh, and that'll be it. Well, guys, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. I'm just going to jump in the bug eye bus and head back to my ship in space and get a game plan going for next season. In the meantime, <clears throat> I have a new series started. It's called the 
Shadows of Twilight or Shadows of Starlight series. Uh, and it's Alpha 7. I've got a couple videos out posted already and definitely more to come. So check that out. It shows how to uh, utilize your hover vehicle, your starting hover vehicle too, for maximum experience gain and, and profit with, with very little risk. So go check that out. And um, in the meantime, that'll tide us over until the next multiplayer series, which will be season two of Alpha 7. And that'll also depend, be dependent on when Alpha 8 comes out and goes public. <clears throat> as soon as it goes into experimental, I have to actually start testing it and testing our play fields and stuff against it. Uh, but I, I do all that off camera and, and all that sort of work. So I kind of I go into a hiatus for a little while while I get all that working so that we can have a functional server to play on. But uh, in the meantime, that was fun. You guys got to see me die a couple times this series, which is actually kind of rare. I... Uh, um, I don't die that often, and uh, both times were uh, fairly tra traumatic, really. I mean, one was just derpiness, got caught by a trap and just got all kind of turned around, and yep, that was it. And then the, what was the first one now? The first one, I didn't realize how low I was on health and got one shot by a shotgun dude uh, that was that was early on the shotgunners caught me off guard how how much damage devastating damage they did at close range and oh well you guys can check that out if you haven't seen the the early episodes of this series uh, go check that out and you'll see me die a couple times <clears throat> well guys this series was a blast uh, we got a bunch of POIs smashed. We did all the quests, the solo quests, except for the one, for reasons. But um, I'm just going to head back to my ship and come up with some action plans. Maybe, um, maybe start cooking up a combat base to spawn in on on planets that are hostile so that we have a little base of operations while we're out raiding yeah we'll see i mean i've i've gone into creative and made a really big combat base but i don't really want to um <clears throat> spawn that in as just a um a temporary thing because it's super expensive i i, I kind of overdid it a little bit but I think I'll make a couple of real minor ones that shouldn't cost too much that'll give us some good ground cover with maybe uh, uh, some basic um, some basic smelting and stuff like that you know the basics so so a very basic base with a smelter I think I'll I'll, uh, I'll design one of those up so that it's easily just plunk plunk it down and and good to go. I'll probably make it out of combat steel or combat concrete. Uh, yeah, I'll do that in creative mode. I'll come up with that and, and we'll have a, a base, a temporary base that I can just spawn in to give us some cover and some, some cover fire for drones and, and patrol vessels and stuff give us a spot to maybe uh, park uh, an HV in uh, maybe do something more permanent on one of the on one of the, the cooler harder planets like a dig a dig a base in and into a mountainside somewhere make a big expansive underground base in one of the planets I'd have to look and, and decide but uh, that's that's definitely something that maybe we'll do in the next series. 
Well guys, I'm back at my ship and I think we'll call it here and I'm just going to rehash my level here. I'm level 25, 240 kills with two deaths. Uh, Ballista Day is currently on Akua trying to level up and, and get his get his skills on and we'll have him available for f some future missions in uh, the next series hopefully so we should be able to get a good group together and do some some um, some raids some multiplayer raids and against some of the harder POIs in in the what's available in the game right now okay guys I'm just going to park and go to bed and <laughs> call it a series. And like I say, go check out my Shadows of Starlight series now posted. Uh, the first few episodes are all already up and running. Um, I'm doing it kind of not, I'm not really jumping right into the mission right away and doing the, the first mission. I kind of went around at a uh, a backwards way about it so uh, check it out it's a different way of doing it uh, I haven't actually ever completed the series so uh, I plan on completing it one way or the other for the for the um, video series and I'm just gonna call it here jump out and or at least attempt to jump out here we go and I've got my gravity generator going so we can just head back and I always log out while I'm actually in the cockpit okay guys if you like this episode like and subscribe next series is going to be the multiplayer series and we're going to be doing some some higher end stuff uh we'll be doing some combat bases and and some real some multiplayer poi raids um potentially some pvp because there's going to be more players developed and, and established by then and and it could get it could get really interesting so stay tuned for the next playlist coming up uh that'll be hopefully shortly in the meantime like i say go check out my shadows of starlight one i think you guys will like it okay guys i'm gonna leave it off here thanks a lot i hope you enjoyed this series i know i really enjoyed doing it and i will see you guys later in the next series until then, you guys have an awesome day.